Hi, today is the 22nd of July, 2020, and there's been a huge earthquake, guys, uh, magnitude 7.8 off the coast of Alaska. And this is going to affect the United States, even all the way to Canada. So here I'm going to show you a little bit um, what's going on. I don't think we're done yet. All of these deep earthquakes raised high off the globe mean something is happening down below the plates. No duh. But what's down below the plates? Magma. But there's an area right below the plate called the asthenosphere. It's just a complex term to describe the semi-melted magma below the plate. And that's where these deep earthquakes are happening. So something is coming up on the underside of the plate over here, which is then spreading out in a way in around the United States prompting me to issue the warning now for the next seven days, let's just put it at a seven day watch for now, for the Pacific Northwest up in Idaho to be on watch for near mid-range six activity. I would put it about a magnitude less than what hit up here in Alaska. This is gonna come up and around and go back into the United States from the Pacific Northwest, following the overall trajectory of the arrows. Now I mentioned the East Coast, Maine, New York, so we would watch up here on the northeast edge of the North American Craton, and we'd watch back across the plate. What size? Well, if we have a six point something coming in up here now, up in Idaho, then that would mean at least mid-range four to near 5.0 level activity to come across Oklahoma. I would warn Southern Colorado, Kansas, Oklahoma border region right here, North Texas. Would also expect Texas to start to move with significant swarmage activity at the pumping operations, West Texas, up to Amarillo even. Also, Dallas might come back alive this week. So Texas might start to show some serious activity. Swarming, I would also expect to take place, but not large on the New Madrid seismic zone. So maybe a series of small earthquakes hammering off over and over again. That's right in the middle of the N-shaped bend. This is all going to take place in this week. And then I would expect something like four point something activity enough to get people's attention if it strikes enough close enough to some cities up here next to the New Hampshire Vermont border region. So let's just put it at 4.5. So you're about to see some four-ish activity up on the east coast of the United States and six-ish level activity on the west coast of the United States and that's just where we're starting with this. Following that up, I would say by the end of the week, Bishop. So while we have to postpone the warning, I'm not canceling it, not now. Not in light of a 7.8 earthquake striking up in the Aleutian Island chain. With soon so, this is um, what uh, is going on. Um, so, we are not to fear. Uh, just prepare. Um, Dutch, um, this is Dutch Sense, the channel. He always says, uh, get one of those bug, up, bug out bags. Like, um backpack with a change of clothes, uh, water, flashlight, and maybe a, like a, a kit, um, uh, like a band-aids, uh, first aid kit, and a pair of running shoes under the bed. So if things really start shaking and breaking, then you could put on the shoes, take the bag, and you're out of there. And um, of course, um, just to remind you, God is in control. He told us uh, that before Jesus comes, there will be uh, earthquakes, there will be um, disasters. Um, I'm going to link, okay, so I'm going to leave the um, this video below that you can go check it out. And also, uh, two more channels where I've been watching uh, this last couple of weeks now how the um, floods are worse than ever uh, landslides after the floods um, fires uh, so all of these things are happening and of course, the good news is that our Lord Jesus Christ is coming back very soon. 
and uh, this is the time to take the word, uh, to read it, study it as much as possible, and not to fear ever. Um, of course, it's it's hard sometimes, right? You, we're in the middle of. I know, like um, the other day, I had a bit of a concern, and then I started. Uh, remembering Psalms 91, which is a, a very good one for these times. But here in Isaiah 40, 31, But those who wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. In Isaiah 43, verse 2, When you pass through the water, I will be with you, says the Lord. When you pass through the river, they will not sweep over you. When you walk through the fire, you will not be burnt. The flames will not set you ablaze. And the last verse um, that I often say because, well, I get scared sometimes. Um, it's Isaiah 41.10. Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, so don't be stressed or anxious. For I am your God. I will strengthen you. Yes, I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Amen, amen, hallelujah. And uh, um, be strong and of good courage. For I am with you wherever you go, says the Lord. So guys, yeah, um, please watch and see uh, what's going on for this. Um, you will not find it on the local news as of course they don't want us to panic. So check it out on Dutch Sense and see if anything is coming near your area, but it looks like it's affecting a lot of the United States. Okay. I love you guys, uh, be well, and let's uh, stay in, in the strength of the Lord. Um, Father God, I bless everybody that's watching. I ask for your fire wall of protection over us, over our homes, over our families, our pets and provisions. A fire wall of protection over our homes like a big bubble over everything that we have that we own. Over our cars and our any modes of transportation. In Jesus name I pray, amen and amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Okay, see you soon. Bye-bye.